Hello, this is David with your message of the day from Pep Inspire Inc. You either ride life, or life rides you. Your mental attitude determines who is the rider, and who is the horse. If you feel like your life is out of control, life is riding you. Here are 12 things you can do to get back into the saddle and start riding life again. 1. Figure out what you really want to achieve. List your ultimate goal first, and your next two biggest goals below it. Always keep the goal you are working on in focus, and have action steps to achieve it. 2. List those things that have kept you from doing the things you wanted to do in the past. Then write down ways you could work on resolving each of the problems that keep you from doing the things you want to do and being the kind of person you want to be. As you do this, remind yourself that you are an intelligent person. 3. Take a relationship inventory. List the people you spend the most time with, and who were closest to you, then ask yourself, do they support you? Can they help you achieve your goals? Are they trustworthy? Are they positive? If you have people in your life who bring you down, or worse, push you down, it's time to do a bit of spring cleaning. Life's hard enough without having to deal with those who don't have your best interests at heart. 4. Stop making and accepting excuses. Excuses are the enemy of accomplishment and positive change, and a poor substitute for accountability. Don't fall prey to making excuses for your failures and mistakes. Instead, own them, and learn from them. 5. Be content, live within your means. A high level of debt produces undue stress and anxiety, and rob you of the ability to take advantage of present and future opportunities. 6. Educate yourself so that you have all the information you need to make good decisions and to take back control of your life. With all the information that is readily available to us today, there is no reason to be uninformed. Study resource books. Check out the internet. Ask people whom you trust. Make your own decisions about what feels right to you and what doesn't. 7. Cultivate and nurture strong, healthy relationships. As humans, we were created for relationships with others and with God. Being in healthy, nurturing relationships with others positively contributes to our total well-being. So, make time to hang out and spend time with friends and family. 8. Monitor your self-talk. Pay attention to the words you say to and about yourself. Negative self-talk reinforces negative feelings which breeds low self-esteem, which leads to lack of motivation and low levels of goal achievement. 9. Plan your strategies for making your life the way you want it to be. Figure out the best way for you to get what it is that you want, or to be the way you want to be. Then start working at it. Keep at it with courage and persistence until you have reached your goal and made a dream come true. 10. Take care of your health. Once you lose it, it is hard to regain. This involves eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, drinking an adequate amount of water, getting enough sleep, and spending time in nature. 11. Strive for excellence in all you do. Notice I said excellence, not perfection. I define excellence as taking the time to plan and prepare, and putting your all into the execution of your plan. In other words, give it 100%, do your best. 12. Pray. Yes, I said pray. No matter how smart, or competent we think we are, there is a whole lot we are ignorant of, and areas in which we need help. Praying acknowledges our need for divine help, and makes available to us a treasury of supernatural resources for us to tap into. Pray for wisdom at all times, one foolish decision can ruin your life. Pray for health and strength to accomplish the goals you've established for yourself. Finally, pray for God to reveal Himself to you so that you can develop a personal relationship with Him.